G'day there, everyone. Daniel Anderson here. Now, chat GPT is obviously a very, very hot topic at the moment, and I wanted to see how I could potentially use chat GPT to help me streamline uh, a lot of my uh, business processes um, and things that I need to get uh, done throughout uh, you know, any given project or a day or, or things like that. See if it could help speed things up. Now, one of the things I needed to do recently was to import a large amount of uh, data from a a CSV file into pre-existing SharePoint lists. Now, I reached out and, and obviously uh, was looking at the PMP framework, PowerShell commands to help facilitate this process. Um, so I wanted to jump into ChatGPT and see if, uh, rather than me actually writing, uh, spending time to write that that uh, that script, um, seeing what ChatGPT could uh, help me with. So let's have a look and see what we came up with. Now it's not the uh, actual solution that we uh, came up with, but it does show you the concepts and what um, you could potentially use ChatGPT for in the context of SharePoint. So you can see here I am in the ChatGPT uh, UI here. Now. I am going to just have a little conversation with it here. All right, so let's um, let's ask it to write a script using the PMP framework uh, that imports into a specific list from a CSV file with some particular columns. All right, so let's uh, let's start our conversation. Can you write a PowerShell script using the PMP framework? that imports values from a CSV file to a list called chat GPT that has the following following columns. Now columns we've got in our list are title, status, description, uh, description and owner. Okay, so that's the makeup of our list. So if I drag our list across here, we can see what we're going to be importing into. So we're in the leadership team site. We've got a, a Microsoft list here, chat GPT, title, status, description, and owner. Now, obviously we have got a CSV file uh, in a particular location as well that uh, has and has been um, set up in the same manner. Now, let's send this command up and see what we come back with. So we're thinking, so ChatGPT now is just reading what I have written and it's gonna come back with a response for me. So let's wait and see what uh, what we come back. Here it is here. So we've got a sample script um, and let's have a look and see what we've, we've got. So we're importing the PMP PowerShell module. Now we don't really need to do that, or not on my device anyway. Um, so we might send it back a, a, another uh, request here in just a sec to just to tidy things up. But you can see here, what's happening is we're actually getting a script for us, all right? It's, it's all written, it's got the list name there. All we need to do is substitute the path to the CSV file and also the site that we need to, uh, that, that, that this list is on. All right, and it's also giving us a little bit of a hint here. So make sure that you've got the Power, uh, the PMP PowerShell installed uh, and run the script with admin user rights that has enough permissions on the SharePoint site. Also, we need to adjust the URL and the path to the file accordingly. But other than that, we're pretty much good to go. Now, what I'm gonna do, um, I'm just gonna say, please remove the import uh, module line and we'll send that back and see what we come back with. So what we should come back with now, hopefully, uh, is a script that doesn't have just that first line. And then we, all we need to do is copy and paste and we are good to go. So we'll just wait for that to, to respond. Um, here it is, modifying the script and it's going to remove the import module line and now we're left with uh, a script that we can use, okay? So what we'll do is we shall wait for that to complete. I'll just open up the CSV file that I do have as well and just show you how that is configured. So again, really, really simple. We've got four columns, a title, status, description, owner, um, and that is the, the makeup of our CSV file. That is in a particular location, so obviously we need to pass in that location. So what we're gonna do here, we're back to chat GPT, um, and all I'm gonna do here is copy the code. 
All right, so I've copied the code and now we're just going to paste that into a PowerShell script. All right, so I've got a PowerShell file here. We just need to pass in the site address. So we'll replace the site address, connect PMP online, we'll pass in there. Uh, and we need to then also just pop in the path to our uh, file. So I'll grab the path to the file in, paste it in there. Now the file is called uh, gpt-import and I am now ready to run. Okay, so I've got the script ready to go. I can now run this. I'm gonna be prompted for uh, username and password. So let me just grab that right now. So we can copy. Uh, and paste the password into there like that, and we'll see what happens. So we're connecting, all right. Let me just grab the uh, the list open so we can see. We can see now here that it's actually going through and importing our values, all right. So um, without needing to write a line of code myself, I've just used that chat GPT uh, interface there to write the script for me, and I've only had to change a couple of things. So let me just bring the list over here. Let's refresh the list and see what we got. So there's all the values. Bang, in, with the values, with everything as we expected, all right? So I'm still uh, exploring other ways that ChatGPT could uh, help facilitate and streamline what I'm doing uh, in my workday as well. So I will share uh, other bits and pieces um, that I am, um, that I'm looking at and what how I'm using it. Uh, so follow along there, uh, jump onto my profile, hit the bell icon and you'll get all the updates there as well. But uh, look, it was a really good use case, uh, help me um, save some time in writing those scripts. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching. I hope that brought you some value and I'll see you in the next episode.